A very good morning. Thanks for clicking on to uh, the Monday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Um, the temperature at Greenland summit camp has actually risen from minus 55 back in the 20th and is sitting currently on minus 22. And over the next couple of days, we may even see a rise further. The reason why is we've got a tremendous buildup of high pressure over Greenland and indicative of a textbook negative North Atlantic oscillation. So that is going to essentially keep things rather chilly over the UK through the course of this week. So what we've got is low pressure to the east of the UK, high pressure to the west of the UK, and of course, we're drawing our, our in from the Arctic here. And you can see that here. This is the five-day mean of the GFS ensemble, and you've got high pressure extending the axis of high pressure from the North Atlantic right up through Greenland and into the central portion of the Arctic. And what we've got here is low pressure, the axis extending from Svalbard all the way down into the North Sea here. So we're plugging our air straight from the pole through the next five days. So temperatures, like I say, are going to rise potentially further over central Greenland. And it, with this warming of air, of course, we're, we're going to then force the cold air uh, that was once up here down into the British Isles and Western Europe here. The six to 10 day remains the same uh, of the GFS. It looks as if the, the model is trying to flatten out the ridge a little bit and, and force the core of the ridge a little bit further south here, which would argue potentially a little bit more westerly influence. But if you notice in the two meter temperature anomalies, it still indicates uh, below normal, firmly below normal across the British Isles and Ireland here. Uh, slightly less warm over Greenland, if you notice. Now, what is interesting is that the, uh, the the North Atlantic Oscillation and the Arctic Oscillation is projected to go um, back towards neutral once again. So you can hear, see here, NAO, you can see here that it goes back up towards neutral and then it takes another nosedive way deep into negative here. The Arctic Oscillation is the same. And the reason for that might be because we are going to see a weakening and displacement of the polar vortex. Well, of course, model projections say that with nothing written in stone. There's no guarantee of that just yet. But it looks as if the reason for this secondary nosedive into the month of December, which, by the way, could lead to a very, very chilly mid-month, would be because of this weakening and displace displacement of the polar vortex towards Europe here. So a lot of weather going on, a lot of interesting things to come if you're an, a lover of winter weather like I am. And, uh, you know, keep it right here. We'll keep you posted as best we can. Snowfall at the moment will be per, um, largely confined to the hills of Scotland and maybe the north of England and Wales. But I think as we press towards the weekend, much colder air in place precipitation associated with low pressure to the east may bring snow to lower levels. So interesting week ahead. Hope you have a great day. I'll be back again in the next couple of days. Bye for now.